See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> and it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you mean, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well. Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. OK. There's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. Your <gasps> second attempt. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. 
Ehi, hey, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. This landing's a little more painful than I remember. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. There you go. Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards <laughs> see us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? It has 
ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. Me on the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to you me. Pardon me, Billy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. What are you doing? I just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a possible French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, the Seller's just through there. Let's go. Well, this place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Look at this bitch. Locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Well, now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Oh, real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. 
Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. There you go. Some fence up there. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a. F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. You need to run. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, she'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. There you go. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. <sighs> okay, up we go. <sighs> right there. Uh, that's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Quello con il parrucchino in quella roba sul naso. Portali. Ah, sciacco tu le devi piani. Non capirebbe la differenza. Sai che questa gente non piace aspettare. Questa gente meriterebbe un calcio. Shh, 
troverei quel portiere di merda eh. dove diavolo si procurano tutta questa roba sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. It's not a... Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff, big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. 
Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody mirrors. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn fight. Rafe! <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Scott. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. To You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bid has reached nope. 130,000. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, signore, takes us all the way to 150,000. It's gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. The bidding stands at 160,000 euros. Yes! Signore's bid makes 170,000. Gotcha! 
Boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's speed, 190,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak... Sparish. What? 